Rhodiola, also known as Rhodiola rosea, is an adaptogenic herb that grows in the cold regions of Europe, Asia and North America and has been used for centuries in areas such as Russia and Scandinavia. Adaptogens are natural substances that help our body to adapt to stress and maintain balance. The main active compounds in rhodiola, rosavin and salitricide are thought to influence neurotransmitters in the brain such as noradrenaline, serotonin and dopamine which can improve mood and cognitive function. It increases beta endorphin secretion from the adrenal glands which are chemicals that help to reduce stress and pain. There have been a few studies looking at rhodiola in combination or in comparison to the common antidepressant sertraline, commonly known by the brand name Zoloft. One study looked at 100 patients over 12 weeks taking either A, sertraline and placebo, B, sertraline and rhodiola 0.6 gram a day, or C, sertraline and rhodiola 0.3 gram per day. In this study, they found that depression improved the most in those taking the higher dose of rhodiola, followed by the lower dose group, and then the placebo group. A separate study comparing sertraline to rhodiola did find that sertraline was more effective at reducing depression symptoms but rhodiola had significantly less side effects and was much better tolerated. So for mild depression rhodiola may be effective in reducing depression with less side effects however there is a good case for taking both rhodiola and antidepressants for more effective results. The most effective dose for depression is 600 mg per day although doses of 300 mg per day can still be effective. A study was conducted in 118 patients over 12 weeks who were suffering from stress-related burnout. Just after taking 400 mg of rhodiola for one week, there was already improvements in symptoms of stress-related burnout and this only improved as time went on. Rhodiola can also help if you suffer from fatigue, particularly with prolonged or chronic fatigue symptoms. The dose for stress-related burnout is 200 mg twice a day. You can see results as soon as one week. A study done on medical students during their final exam found those taking rhodiola had better mental performance as well as physical fitness, general well-being, greater motivation to study and improved sleep patterns with less need to sleep. So if you find you're looking for something to take that helps you to focus, rhodiola may be a good option. The dose for mental performance is 370 milligram as a once-off dose or 50 milligram twice a day over a longer time frame, such as for a few weeks. Over a dozen small studies have found that taking rhodiola can reduce oxidative stress, muscle pain and injury, improve skeletal muscle damage and muscle recovery during training and it also improves athletic explosive power. Dosage to improve exercise performance is 200 mg 60 minutes before exercise. This allows you to exercise for longer before you get exhausted. You can take higher doses of 1500 to 2400 mg of rhodiola for 4 to 30 days which may be effective during sprints and resistance distance training. Side effects of rhodiola may include dizziness, dry mouth or excess saliva. Rhodiola can be safely taken for up to 12 weeks. There haven't really been clinical studies longer than this. Now there is potential for rhodiola to stimulate the immune system so you need to be careful if you have an autoimmune disease such as rheumatoid arthritis, lupus, celiac disease and multiple sclerosis just to name a few. Avoid taking rhodiola if you're pregnant or breastfeeding as there is not enough evidence to say whether it is safe in these conditions. Rhodiola may reduce your blood sugar or blood pressure levels so be careful if you're on medications for diabetes or high blood pressure. Always check with your healthcare professional before you take rhodiola if you're on any medications or have any health conditions. So that's it for today's video on rhodiola. If you found anything useful please consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye!